Hello! In this video I'll present to you some of the more important new features that come with eDevTools version 6.5. Probably the most uh, exciting one of these will be the fact that Kineflex now can penetrate through the layer parenting shell and work directly with the Smart Magnetric Core without the need to toggle layer parenting off. To demonstrate this, we have the example which we used the last time and I will exclude from this selection the leg layers, select everything else and toggle layer parenting using its shortcut key. Okay, so now the torso and the arms are all parented and cleaned up as a consequence of being parented. And to demonstrate that now uh, Kineflex can actually work with parented layers, I'll just choose the Kineflex tool by pressing a shortcut key and use forward kinematics. Go to another keyframe, there you go, FK. And now if I show the IK effectors, I can also use inverse kinematics. So this is basically all that it is to it. Kineflex just can penetrate the layer parenting shell and interact with the smart magnet rig directly. There are some very rare occasions depending on your initial selection. You might need to do a second click. That will happen very rarely. Like uh, what I'm showing you now. I deliberately clicked on the IK controllers layer and now if I click here the first click will tell me that the layer parenting shell has been unlocked and just click a second time to work with Kineflex. This can happen sometimes but that will be very rare and there will only be uh, the need for one extra click. The second exciting thing that I'd like to show you is that you can trigger IK cleanup via the shortcut key for cleanup. So you don't really need to always press this uh, cleanup button in uh, Smart Magnetry Helpers panel. So it works exactly as normal cleanup will work. Just the starting point would be uh, an IK effector. When you have an IK effector selected and you press Alt Q, the result is IK cleanup. If you can pay attention to this other knee that breaks a bit, I will clean it up. Alt plus Q and all these frames were generated and these were cleaned up. I'll continue with this leg. IK cleaning it up. And for the other one that's uh, lifted in the air, this time I will do a normal cleanup. From this key here, I will go chain select with smart transform. And then again, Alt plus Q, but because this time the elements are selected, this will be an FK cleanup. And I will continue toward the next key one to chain select and alt plus q to clean up another cool new feature is that by default smart magnet rig ik effectors snap back to the controlled element when you release them in the previous version 6 when you left an effector it would just stay there until you snap it back with a smart magnet joint or until you toggle the visibility off and on. While now effectors snap back. This is the default behavior obviously but then there is an extra property where you can actually disable this snapping back and it's in effector properties. There's a checkbox here called don't snap on mouse up. So with this one that works as a gravity pin we don't actually want it to snap because we want the head to always aim at this effector but never really touch it 
if we select another one and call effect the properties and activate this it will stop snapping and finally there is an improvement in the way uh, the freestyle rigging tool visualizes source and target elements and also the elements that have already been rigged and are not available for rigging so if you remember in the previous version we had boxes everywhere and when there were overlapping elements it uh, could get quite visually noisy so with this version we're removing that uh, visual noise with the freestyle rigging tool now you'll see the only place that we see boxes are the source and the target element now these two are rigged and now when i hover over the foot the only two boxes that we see are the lower leg which is the source element and the foot which is the target element the upper leg is represented by a line now let me ring the torso with uh, this other leg i'll lock the shadow upper leg with lower leg and lower leg with the foot and now i'll ring from the torso to this uh, other upper leg now from the torso toward the tail See, the only two boxes are the torso and the tail. Everything else is represented by a line and these are elements that are not available for rigging. All the ones that are still unrigged and can be rigged will be highlighted with boxes. So I'll rig the tail now and then continue with the arms. I can even very safely rig the arm that's behind without the need to actually hide the torso. Okay, this is rigged. And I can rig like this from the upper arm to the lower arm even though they're behind the torso. So, arms are rigged. And now finally the neck. And from the neck to the head. As always, I test my rig by dragging the master parent away from all the other elements, pressing 1 for smart transform to chain select everything and tilde to snap the elements back. I can test with Kineflex as well just to drag the rig back. So this is it, small but important improvements which will make work with EDAP tools even more pleasant. Enjoy!